One day, Mr. Harry was sitting out in front of his house. Hey ho, what do you know? Hey ho, what do you know? What will I do today? Today? What will I do today? I say. Oh, what shall I do today? Good morning, Mr. Leopard. How are you? Grrr. Very nice, friend. You can't even stop long enough to say hello. I don't know why I'm surprised. The only time you are ever friendly to me is when you think you might be able to trick me and catch me for your next meal. Well, it hasn't worked yet. I'm too fast for you. Hey ho, what do you know? Hey, what do you know? Greetings again, Mr. Leopard. Grrr. Right in front of my door he passes and not even a nod. He knows I'm safe in my own territory so he won't bother with me at all. Not even a nod. That's not right. Just because you're big doesn't mean you should be rude. At least you can say hello even if you don't chase me. Hello. Hey ho, what do you know? Hey ho, what do you know? What will I do today? Today? Today, I know exactly what I'll do today. I'll do something to make that leopard notice me. And I don't mean it's something to eat. If his house is that way, and he ran that way, then he's not at home. I think I'll just take a little walk over to his house and leave a little message. Well, hello there, Mrs. Leopard. Greetings, Mr. Hare. How are you today? Fine, just fine, thank you. How are you? I'll tell you the truth, I'm not very well. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Mr. Hare. Is Mr. Leopard home by any chance? No, he left this morning to go hunting. Oh, that's too bad. I needed to use him. Needed to use him? What do you mean by that? I'm not feeling well and I wanted to go to the doctor. It's too far to walk for me feeling this poorly. I thought Mr. Leopard could maybe give me a ride. What do you mean, give you a ride? Well, I don't have a horse to ride, so I thought I would ride Mr. Leopard instead. Ride Mr. Leopard? Are you crazy, little rabbit? Hmm. No, I'm sure I could do it. It's a very good thing he isn't here around to hear you say that. He'd eat you up in a minute for being so ignorant. <laughs> oh, I doubt that. Besides, I know I can ride him, and I'll bet you I'll ride him before the day's over. You can tell him that for me, if you will. I just can't believe I'm hearing you right. Oh, you're hearing me right. Guess I'll go home again and lie down. Goodbye, Mrs. Leopard. Goodbye, Mr. Hare, and you better be more careful next time. Leopards might be big, but they aren't very bright. It's time they learn their lesson. I better go get the brittle and whip and get ready for my ride. Mr. Hare, Mr. Hare. Greetings, Mr. Leopard. How are you? Ah, greetings, Mr. Hare. I saw you several times earlier. Sorry you didn't have the time to say hello to me. I was in a hurry, Mr. Hare. How are you, by the way? Fine. Listen here, Mr. Hare. My wife said you were by my house earlier and boasted you would ride me like a horse. Heavens, that's ridiculous, Mr. Leopard. It's worse than ridiculous. It's insulting. It is very insulting. I'm absolutely furious. I would be too. Wait, no, you're the one who said that. My wife said so. Well, maybe your wife was mistaken. My wife told me very clearly that you told her to give me the message that you would ride me like a horse today. Well, there must be some mistake. Now, wait a minute. My wife wouldn't just make up a story like that. There's no mistake. And no one is going to make a fool out of me. Certainly not, Mr. Leopard. I want to hear the two of you straighten this out. Come on home with me. I'll ask my wife to repeat the message in front of you. I'd really like to come home with you, Mr. Leopard, but as I told your wife, I'm really not feeling well today. I barely made it home myself. Come on, you know I live nearby. That's true, but I'm feeling weaker and weaker every minute. I know I'd never be able to walk that far today. I've been insulted today, and the matter is going to be settled today. Do you hear me? I don't see why I can't wait until I'm feeling stronger. You're coming with me today, even if I have to carry you. All right, then. You'll have to carry me. I'm way too weak to walk. Hurry up. Get on my back. I'm afraid I'll fall off your back while you're running. Do you mind if I get a little rope? No, just get it. Okay. Okay, I got a little rope. It's here on my ear. I'll just put this to your mouth so I have something to hang on to. Now I need a little stick. What for? To push aside the low branches so they won't knock me off your back while you're running. All right, go get it. Okay, I got a stick. I'm ready now. Could you get a little lower? Lower. Lower. Ah, steady. Now let me get a hold of the rope in my stick. Hurry up. Okay, we're off. Faster, Mr. Leopard, faster. Well, hello there, Mrs. Leopard. We just came by to check up on the boast that Mr. Hare would ride me like a horse. Well, well, what is this? I think he is doing that. Okay, bye guys. I guess I'll see you tomorrow. I'm feeling lots better. Thanks for the ride again, Mr. Leopard. Yup, like a horse.